Hello friends, welcome to my uh, tutorial introduction. I will teach you on how to configure VLAN in MicroTech and uh, Cisco. As you can hear, here is the scenario. I have my MicroTech router that have connected with the ISP. And then uh, my MicroTech have trunk port connect to Cisco suite. So the Cisco uh, suite, as you can see, have port. So uh, in this scenario, I have port 2 and port 3 with VLAN 40 and I have port 4 and port 5 for VLAN 50. Uh, sorry for this one, I had I made a mistake. So uh, the client between uh, two VLAN, VLAN 40 and VLAN uh, uh, 50 uh, are within uh, our company at once. So here is just a basic uh, scenario. So now let's go to uh, be deep down for this. Okay, as you see here, here is my uh, lab. I have my tech router, I have trunk port. So I have in this scenario, I will use port 1 and port 2 for VLAN 50 or VLAN staff with this IP address. And for the another a port, Ethernet 3 is for guest VLAN. Okay, so I separate two one is staff VLAN and one is a guest VLAN. And trunk port for Cisco speed, uh, I will choose port 0 for trunk port. And on my GTEC, I will choose a port Ethernet 2 for the trunk port. I do hope that you understand about trunk port. So it's trunk port, it's just a port that uh, assign, okay, assign uh, to carry the traffic for VLAN. So even though we have multiple VLAN, so when we configure trunk port, <coughs> All of this VLAN can uh, send and receive the traffic together. Okay, so to do first, I also have the tip for you. First, you can configure on MicroTech first. Okay, or you can also configure on Cisco first, it's the same. But in this scenario, I will uh, configure on my MicroTech. Okay, okay, so now I go to my MicroTech. My MicroTech now already uh, connect to the uh, internet port or ISP, this one I have received. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to create VLAN. Okay, let's say this one is net one is my VAN. Okay, my VAN that I get from ISP, I rename. And I will use the Ethernet tool for our VLAN. Okay, so I go to interface, VLAN, and then I click here plus, I will put VLAN 40. Okay, and then here also 40. And the interface that I'm going to choose for my trunk is Ethernet 2. Okay, apply. Okay. And then I click more. VLAN 50. Okay, the ID is 50. Make sure that you have to use this uh, ID correctly. Ethernet 2, the same of my trunk. Okay. So after this, okay, just close. You need to create the address. Okay. You need to add the IP address. Okay, I will make it a bit smaller. Okay, the IP address of my VLAN 40 for staff VLAN. This one, staff 34, Ethernet. This one, VLAN 40. Apply. Okay, I also create another VLAN 50 on my GTEC. 50. One. I will go a bit faster, everyone. Okay. <coughs> 50. Apply. Okay. So after this, we have to do the DHCP uh, server. Okay. So our, our client can get IP address automatically. HP server, DHCP setup. Okay. VLAN. IP address from HVLAN. Next. Okay. This one, I will let it. Uh, the full okay, okay. Now, another VLAN, the SP setup VLAN 50. Night, 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 night. Okay, successfully. So, after you have configured these two uh, VLAN, what we ne need to do more is like you go to IP firewall, okay, I will configure this. 
so our uh, client can access to the internet firewall not and then chain xrc action max sure max sure apply okay 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 now i will ping ping google.com whether it's okay can i not Okay, it can I let's say I ping the IP address that I just created. Okay, we we'll have 40. <coughs> okay, so after we already finished on uh, my it's already finished. Now let's go to our suite. Okay, suite, make sure that. Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 for VLAN 40. Okay, now I go to my Cisco. Okay, a bit bigger. Okay, my Cisco speed. So to access to the privilege, I hope you can know, you just use enable. Okay, enable, enter. Okay. And the boy enter, and then you use the config terminal. Okay. Okay, config terminal. So this one I want to create the VLAN, VLAN name. Okay. I will put VLAN uh, 40. Okay. VLAN 40. I give the name of it is uh, star. Okay, we land start. Okay, so after that, you exit it. Okay, I create another we land uh, 50. Then I name it uh, visitor. Okay, visitor or guest. Okay, I will put visitor. Okay, exit. Okay, so after you already create the VLAN in the Cisco. I need to create transport. Here you want transport on my uh, Cisco suite is Ethernet 0. Okay. Now to create uh, transport. Okay. You can go to like config. Okay. It already access. Okay. You go to interface. Interface is a uh, Net. This one is your suite is a uh, chica bit. You just type a uh, key like that, and then it will be so. But my uh, suite is only Ethernet, so I, I will put only Ether. Okay, Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay, and then suite port. This one you can also like suite port rank. Okay, suite port rank rank. But I this one I will do. Uh, one by one, so everyone can be a uh, family with it. Okay, it's in it. Trunk and tap to let. Okay, this one is for sweet layer three dot one two, but for those who use layer two or anything, just use sweet port trunk. Okay, I will leave the command in the description, so no worry. Okay, I enter, and after that, you sweet. Okay. Sweet port mode, sweet port mode trunk. Okay, and then no, no shutdown. This command is uh, important because no shutdown refer to block this port. Okay, enter. So we block port uh, zero for our trunk. Okay, and then exit. Okay, so now you already create VLAN name and the trunk. The next step, you need to apply the interface, okay, to each VLAN. Okay, so I will apply uh, interface Ethernet 1 and Ethernet uh, 2 for VLAN 50. Okay, so to do this, okay, you go to interface. It's, uh, okay, 0 slash 1, okay. This, this means that we are go to the uh, port one. We can say like that. Enter. 
Okay, and then switch port mode access. Okay, enter and then speed port mode uh, speed access speed access VLAN okay speed access VLAN uh, 40 okay this one we want to apply port 1 to VLAN 40 enter okay so after this you just no shutdown okay to block this port and exit okay so we need to do uh another, another port okay interface is a uh, zero slash two okay zero two okay enter so we this one as i said we can also do rank or do one by one okay now speed port mode access okay and then speed port access vlan 40 okay 40 the same because we want to apply the vlan 40 uh, to port 2 enter okay no shut down no shut down okay to block this port exit okay so now we already finished configure the ethernet 1 and ethernet 2 for vlan 40 now we need to configure ethernet 3 for vlan 50 okay so we do the same thing everyone press it is uh, 0 3 okay then speed port mode access okay enter and then speed access speed access vlan 50 okay speed access vlan 50 no Okay, just shortcut, no shutdown, exit. Okay, so after you uh, already do this, you need to sell all the configuration. Do right, enter. Okay, so you see, complex configuration from this 88 bytes to 573. So this one we uh, sell our configuration, and then exit. Okay, now I want to show my VLAN. So VLAN brief. Okay, you see now uh, VLAN 50 for staff. Okay, we port that we use one and two. Okay, for for the visitor we use port Ethernet three. Okay, so it's look like uh, we have uh, finished our configuration. So now what we need to do now we go to test together. Okay, now I go to my client. Okay, my client whether it's get the IP address or not okay okay I click here I will use dynamic IP okay because this one when we create it default we have I haven't changed okay 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 So just wait that there is apply. Okay, now it changed the status. Okay, I will make it access to the internet. And I will see this IP address. It should be 40. You see? Here's the IP address that it get 40. Okay. And also this client is also one. You can also CMD IP config plus all okay pingogol.com. Okay, so the client can access the internet as well. Okay, with this IP address. Okay. 
Now I go to my client 002. It should be get the IP address in range of um, 40 as well based on our scenario. Click here. Okay, I change the same. Apply. Then I make IP. Okay. Now see the status has changed. Identifying. So the IP address in this range should be in staff uh, VLAN 40. I check what the IP address that is get. Okay, twenty uh two four three uh two five three two hundred fifty three IP okay now based on scenario uh client zero zero one and client zero zero two it's get the IP address in this range but for uh guest VLAN fifty for client zero zero three should uh, get in this range now we start open okay let's see. Okay, I change this one. This one, if the IP address that get another ring, that's mean that uh, our configuration is fail. Okay, let's say if it get the IP address in ring uh, 40 or 30 or 100 or 10, it's wrong because what we configure is here 50. We learn 50 for guess. Okay, now let's see. Right. Okay, you see, the IP address between this client and this client is uh, different, okay? Now, to be sure, you can go also to your architect, and then you go to IP, uh, you can go to app or ALP, okay, you see? Uh, we have two VLAN, okay? Client 001 for this user. The PC I haven't changed, so it will be left here. And for the another PC, client will 003, you get this one. You can also go to IP, the HP server or list. Okay, it also uh, show here. You see? Okay. Okay, uh, so that's all for the relation. I hope that you find this lesson useful to you in the next video. Bye bye.